He was on the run, but not for long. A Lexington escapee is now back behind bars after being caught near a school. Jason Bershear escaped from the Blackburn Correctional Institute on Leestown Road sometime this morning. And crews were able to track him down to Scott County, where he was taken back to jail outside of school while the children watched. Janet Kim has more on the capture in Georgetown. Well, Georgetown police arrested Jason Bashir right through this parking lot. But if you see just a few feet away is a playground where we're told children were playing when they witnessed it all when police took down Bashir. With just over a year left on his sentence, Jason Bashir walks away from freedom when we're told he escapes from the Blackburn Correctional Facility. It's a pretty serious offense. Uh, rare. Uh, I know you hear a lot that they walk away, but we don't generally have the subjects in Scott County. Lexington police and KSP began the search for the 31-year-old around 8.30 Wednesday morning, beginning in the Masterson Station neighborhood that sits just across the street from the facility. Yeah, it's scary because I didn't know. And I have a 10-year-old. We're heading back out for spring break, and I didn't know. Hours later, Bashir was finally spotted in Georgetown. We were able to respond very quickly to the area. Uh, the subject was located by officers uh, actually in the parking lot of the uh, Harmony Christian Church. The situation did end in an arrest near that Harmony Christian Church where preschoolers witnessed the arrest from the playground. Though parents expressed concern, they say it may be a lesson well learned. If it were handled properly, and it sounds like it was okay, and that the, the police followed up, I would think that's a good example of being able to see public servants in action and just reminding our children that the police officers are serving us and keeping us safe and our community safe. School officials here at Providence Christian Academy tell me not only did administrators speak with the children about what they saw and what happened, but the parents here have also been notified. Reporting in Georgetown, Janet Kim, WKYT 27 News First. Bashir was serving a sentence set to end in June of next year. He will now face additional escape charges.